Hi, it's Simone Novello from Partner Up, and I'm really excited today to be interviewing Deborah Shepherd of Embrace Life, Live Life. Deborah Shepherd is one of our very much loved uh, clients who is creating an amazing community uh, within boutique wellness festivals and bringing the wellness industry together so they can thrive in business. So uh, Deb recently won our 90 day challenge uh, because she achieved such outstanding results in her partnerships and uh, what I loved was the breadth in uh, the way that she used uh, a partner friendly mentality and mindset in her business to achieve these outcomes. So I want to talk to Deb a little bit about that today and, uh, and share some insights and some of her uh, learnings and case studies and uh, what contributed to such a wonderful success story. So thank you so much for joining me, Deb. Thank you for having me. Now, you, I think, had a, a 10 or more partnerships over the 90 days. I did, I did. <laughs> and uh, ranging from so the biggest vitamin retailer in Australia uh, through to television, uh, through to uh, national uh, re local retail brands. I think it was just absolutely fantastic. So Thank you. It just shows you, I think, when you've got focus, which is, again, why I think one of the benefits of Partner Up is you keep that focus. A lot of times you learn certain skills, but then you forget to apply them, and then every day comes along and then you forget. So that 90 days really gave me that focus. So I wanted to talk a little bit about some of your specific experiences. Sure. Um, and and from a marketing partnership perspective and I guess some of the things that you learnt along the way about you know getting those quick wins and that low hanging fruit and then using that to build mm -hmm. uh, your business and your and your partnerships. Okay okay so the first the first one probably is the Australian Natural Care. Mm -hmm. um, what I what I see with Australian Natural Care was the lesson that I grew as a business owner. When I first met Peter who's the CEO I was in awe of what they were achieving. I loved their vision. Mm -hmm. I loved his energy and his values and automatically I said this is a partner that I want to be part of mm -hmm. but um, probably fell a little bit into the trap of a, a few things one sort of being very strict on what I want to achieve out of the relationship mm -hmm. and the second was seeing myself potentially as too small mm -hmm. and and what would he see in me so we created a campaign that lasted seven days and in that seven day period we were able to also put a couple of links in that allowed us to track the click through rate to their website mm -hmm. and also Facebook allows you to look at comments and likes. And we were able to achieve uh, just on about 94 uh, likes, mm -hmm. 34 comments mm -hmm. and 85 click through rates to a website. Yep. That's pretty amazing when you only think it was seven days on one ad in Facebook. That's actually more than uh, a lot of other big companies like exactly. ANZ and I've noticed Coles you sometimes go in and have a look at what sort of engagement they're getting in their social media communities and they're not they're not even anywhere near no that. no it was it was a pretty phenomenal for one Facebook post yeah. and what it gave me then was the opportunity to then approach them one more time one of the things for partners I think you actually need to have a passion for their business as well because then you're always looking to how can I help you as you come in with that mindset so it's definitely a beautiful relationship that was formed there as well love it and I think the other lesson there is that it's like hanging fruit you know these were the existing businesses that you had a strong mm. connection with Definitely. Um, and if you live and breathe and you love the business that you're in chances are you're going to be a customer of or they're going to be a supplier of yours or you're going to be in some way connected with a lot of these businesses that's been a great way that you've used a partner friendly mindset to build your business well, as I said, my business is, is around local mm -hmm. and local boutique festivals. And no matter what I do, I cannot be local in every part of Sydney. Mm -hmm. So my radar was about finding good local businesses that want to partner up with Embrace to take that festival to their local community. And what we've been able to do is, is in an exchange of helping promoting their business, mm -hmm. they'll actually help promote and form the community uh, festival that we'll create in their area. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. Thank you so much, Deb. So as you can see, Deborah Shepherd's a very well-deserving winner of our 90-day challenge, an inspiring businesswoman and a wonderful business to partner up with if you're in the wellness industry. So look out for her partnering opportunities.